The EBSCO citation tool can be a real time saver, but since it is computer generated, you need to be on the lookout for a couple of common problems. One common problem is the use of all capital letters. If you are on the details page for a specific article and notice that the title and authors are in all capitals, this is a tip off that you should pay close attention to the citation. When I click on the cite icon in the tools sidebar, which is on the right side of the screen, I get a list of a lot of citation styles. In the APA citation, the author's names are in all caps. The same is true for the MLA citation. This does not follow APA or MLA rules, so we'll cover how to fix this in a minute. The other thing to watch for in MLA citations is the database name. MLA rules offer some wiggle room on how general or specific the database name needs to be. The citation tool uses the more general name EBSCOhost, but some instructors will want you to change EBSCOhost to the name of the specific database where you found the article. For your class assignments, always follow the guidelines given to you by your instructor. Let's go over how to make both of these corrections. From the EBSCO citation tool, highlight the citation you want to use. You do not need to highlight a heading like Works Cited or References. Copy it by using Command-C on a Mac keyboard, Control-C on a PC keyboard, or by right-clicking and choosing Copy from the menu. Switch over to your word processing program. When you copy a citation from EBSCO, you get some hidden formatting. Microsoft Word lets you remove this formatting when you paste by going up to Paste in the ribbon bar and choosing Merge Formatting. Unfortunately, Google Docs does not have this option. In Google Docs, you will need to adjust the formatting yourself by removing the faint background color. Use your mouse to highlight the citation, then click on the Highlight Color icon and choose None. Now that we've pasted, the first thing we need to fix is the all capital letters, which is just a matter of retyping. If the article title is in all caps, follow the capitalization rules for your citation style. In this MLA example, the title is OK as it is. If you need to switch the database name but aren't sure which database your article is from, go back to the details about your article. If you are only searching in one database, simply look over the search box for the database name. In this example, the database is Master File Complete. If you are searching in multiple databases at once, however, scroll to the bottom of the Article Details screen to see the name of the database. Over in your citation, remove the word EBSCOhost and replace it with the database name. In MLA jargon, the database is considered a container, and the names of containers are always formatted using italicized letters, so don't forget to change your database name to italics. You may need to make additional formatting changes before your citation is ready to go. If you keep an eye on the issues of all capitals and the database name, your citation should be in pretty good shape. Always check with your instructor if you're not sure what they want in a citation and check the citation style rules to make sure that the citation doesn't have any other errors. If you want assistance with your citations, please contact the writing tutors in the Academic Success Center or library staff. We're always happy to help.